Okay guys, welcome back. And this DVD review is going to be another Adam Wilder one. The MX Expressions Authentic Metal. Uh, now this DVD here is to get these, as you see, the effects that he's got on this tank on the cover here. That beautiful rusted effect on the metal and things like that. Uh, on the back, I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see these on this rather poor camera I have. But those sorts of effects there. Okay, now the DVD starts off with texturing on metal and now that's a fantastic add-on because I have seen a lot of them where it shows you the painting and things like that but the texturing on some of these these armor models we do is is really really important to get that authentic look um, and he shows you different techniques on the different ones like say a Sherman versus the German um, hot welded armor and things like that and it's it's fantastic it's some really good tips in there on how to get texture on there uh, he does show you the Sherman uh, turret and how they, they got that really rough texture on there and it's fantastic. So it starts off with that which is great because a lot of DVDs that talk about painting metal and rust effects don't have the texturing part in it. So that's fantastic to start with. Um, he has some, some really great tips in here also for improving the armour itself, not, not so much just painting it but th doing things like weld seams and stuff like that shows some different techniques to get some beautiful well seam effects on some of this metal and honestly it just it increases the authenticity of it without limits it's just beautiful um, so it's, that's another really handy thing <clears throat> that's on this DVD that I really didn't expect to be on there and it was so yeah really great surprise again the camera work in this DVD is just as good as the photo etch one beautiful close-up work nice and crisp and clear um, the sound is fantastic but again, this is probably the only drawback I found with this one. The music is not as bad as the music in the Dealing Photo Etch DVD, but it does get very repetitive. It's the same few songs over and over and over. By the end of the DVD, you really are truly sick of hearing the same music. But it's not as in intrusive because it's not as corny, the music that's on this one, so it's not quite as bad. Uh, and you do have to keep your sound up because obviously he's going to talk through this as well. Uh, but yeah, like I say, not as bad as dealing with that. So it's, but it's still, yeah, it does get a little bit repetitive. Now he goes through different types of effects here. The first one he does is the carbon steel, which is probably my favourite, which is the one that's on the cover here. This carbon steel effect he's got on this this model, and absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful work. Now he's obviously done the whole tank in this, but in this DVD he only does this panel up in here but it, it shows you how he gets these effects over the whole tank. It's bit, basically the same thing but just done over the whole tank. Fantastic. That's probably my favourite part on there, the favourite technique. He does the red oxide primer look that the, the Germans used on their armour in the factories. Now we've all seen lately a lot of these these tanks come out where they're still sitting in the factory with chalk marks all over and things like that and they're absolutely beautiful. I, I, well, I know myself, I love seeing that sort of model. But he shows you how to do that, that red oxide effect, and make it look like it's been sitting there for a while. So, you know, the war's coming to an end, people have abandoned the factories, the tanks just sat there, got dust and a bit of rust and things like that. So, another fantastic part to this video, if you're into that sort of thing. He does up an exhaust, <coughs> excuse me, he does up an exhaust on here, which again, another fantastic addition, especially for armor modelers now. Exhaust are generally one of those sticking points with, with different armour modellers. I know myself, I've tried different techniques. I can, sometimes I fluke it and it comes out nice, other times mm, a bit patchy. This guy shows you some great techniques on how to get a, a, a really nice looking exhaust. One where paint's starting to fleck off and there's burn marks and there's heat and there's rust and so on. So another really great part in this DVD. He also does a damage panel. I think it might be on the back here. Um, which is another, this fella down here, it's actually a, a damage panel off modern, uh, modern um, armour. Now it gives you that beautiful burned out effect and things like that and again another really great part of this DVD. For us armour modellers who love to do battle damage, this is fantastic because it gives you that fresh burned out appearance it's, and it's, it's just awesome. Rather than having a, a tank that's just sitting there starting to rust out where the burn happened, this is fairly fresh and gives you some great techniques on how he's done that so another great addition now just flip my page over here 
Okay, well, that's probably about the end of the list that we can talk about on here. It's uh, at the end of the day, guys. I I can truly recommend this. Uh, if if you're into armor, th this is honestly a fantastic DVD for what it's meant for, making that authentic metal look. There, there is other techniques out there. There's other DVDs out there. Uh, I have quite a few of them, but this one here is probably one of the best I've seen. It's it's fantastic. Everything's clearly explained. I, I probably would have preferred that he explained a little bit more into the technique of why he does things rather than just saying, okay, now we're putting a layer of this on, now we're doing that. I probably would have preferred that he explained, okay, to get this look, this is why we do this particular layer. He, he does it in some cases, but not all, and that's just a bit finicky on my part. That's the sort of thing I like to hear. Um, but yeah, other than that, this this is a fantastic DVD, guys. If you're into armour and you want to do some rusty plates and, and a bit of battle damage, this is definitely worth having in your collection. Um, again, a lot of the techniques on here I'll be trying out for myself. I'll make some videos up and show you how that works out for me. Uh, at the end of the day, guys, do yourself a favour. If you're into armour, go and grab this DVD. Okay, guys, well, thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you in next video, which will be uh, probably working with some metalizer stuff for the, the new true metals from ok interactive and the extreme metal from ok interactive versus lclad and so on uh, i'll be uploading some dvds on that um, and forgive my hands when i start doing that because i had a player the other day my hands end up black and as you can see my nails have still got stuff under there so those ones aren't going to be clean videos working with metalizers very messy but anyway that should be my my, my next video hopefully um, if it's something different it's something different but that's what i'm aiming for at this stage Okay guys, again, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next video.